a real right to strike needs to be restored. Workers are currently reliant on this sort of government legislation to maintain the most basic conditions. Workers shouldn't have to wait for a friendly government in Canberra for a decent wage. They should be able to fight for those conditions themselves, backed by an empowered union, unafraid to strike for fear of being fined. In light of that, let's talk about Qantas. Prime example of many failures, including that of worker protection. So credit to the Transport Workers Union for pushing so strongly on the labour hire provisions in this bill, but we shouldn't pretend this reform alone will restore the rights of the workers of Qantas and its subsidiaries. Just recently, the High Court ruled Qantas's outsourcing of 1,700 ground workers during the pandemic was illegal. That's a great win for those workers and their union, but Qantas is only required to compensate those workers for lost wages. Those workers won't get their jobs back and they won't be compensated for their time fighting for that decision. There was no way for those affected workers and their colleagues to go on strike and fight back against what turned out to be illegal outsourcing. This closing loopholes legislation certainly doesn't close that one. Authorised by E. Watson Brown, Australian Greens, Taringa.